When you're building and working with Adobe Air applications, there may be times that you need to do something specific for a specific operating system. You know, for example, uh, you may want to put an icon on the dock for the Mac. Well, obviously, that's not going to work on Windows. On Windows, you'd have to put it in, say, the system or the task tray, something like that. So it's useful to be able to detect what operating system, what platform your application is running on. And what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. I'm just going to create a very simple little application here in Flash Builder to just detect the operating system so we know what platform we're on. So to do that, I'm just going to create a new application here. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to create an MXML application. Click Next. I'm going to call this application System Check. And I'm just going to use the, the basic layout here. I'm just going to put a label on the screen and click Finish. So here's the code for the application. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to add a label. And so we're just going to put a label in here. I'm going to give it an ID of, say, System Type. And I'm going to set an X and Y location just to move it in from the edge of the screen a little. And that's that. So what we'll do, we'll just run that application quickly so that you can see it. And there it is. So nothing on the screen at the moment. Let's go back to the application. And in here, I'm going to add some code now. And we're going to add a function that fires off when the application starts. So I'm just going to call this init. That's kind of my standard de facto that I use. You'll see a lot of developers do that. And what we need to do now is add a line up here so that when the application starts, we're just going to say on creation complete, we want it to call the init function. And what we're going to do in this function is we're actually going to set the, the text of this label control here. So at the moment it's nothing. So what we're going to do is let's say, just to prove that it's working, we're just going to go in here and say system type dot text equals unknown OS. And let's just go ahead and test that. And so as you can see at the moment, unknown OS. So we know that the code is working and firing correctly. So what we need to do here now is just basically change this part here. And we're going to say capabilities.os. And we'll save that and run that again. We're going to debug that. And as you can see, I'm running on a, on a Mac here, Mac OS 10.6.4. That is all you need to do to check the operating system. It's this one little bit here, capabilities.os. That's doing all the magic for us. On a Windows, of course, it will return Windows and, you know, whatever version of the operating system you're running there. And of course, you know, any of the Adobe Air supported platforms. So you can use this one line of code here to to basically detect the operating system and you know you could have an if function or something like that so that if it's Windows you know do X Y and Z and if it's a Mac you know do ABC whatever you need to do so that's a quick little tip and I hope it's useful